Hey guys, welcome back to Hearthstone. It's been a little too long since the last video came out. My apologies for that. But let's get right back to it with more basic decks, this time taking on Molten Core. And despite whatever he selected here, we will not be starting with Baron Geddon. Gar is one of Ragnaros's lieutenants. You're close now. We will be taking on Gar. And to face Gar, we will be using a warrior. So let's get to it. Gerash versus Gar! I will walk in. Victory or death! Okay, that is not ideal. We need much faster cards than that. As you can see, he starts with a full board of these little rock creatures. And that is not particularly helpful. Alright. So, can't really do anything on turn one. Okay, so the gimmick to this fight is he's going to do one damage to all minions every turn. And the catch with these is when they die, they deal one damage to your hero for each one of these that died this turn. So it doesn't sound too bad until you realize that they all die at the exact same time. So each one of these will hit you for seven. So, the strategy is to just kind of kill them off gradually and just kind of stagger the damage. I'm just going to burn and execute there to get rid of one already. I can use cleave next turn if I need to, as that'll offset the, the health of two of them, causing them to die a little sooner. And we are bringing the Grim Patron into this deck because it works amazingly with that ability. So I am making the assumption that you've cleared the last wing for this. This technically isn't a basic card, but if you're in wing two, I'm going to assume you cleared wing one. Alright, there go two more. Thought we took four damage that turn. What's he coining at? Ah. He's got some more of these. That's fine, since they're already staggered. Not much we can do here, just throw up the shield block. Next turn we can try to get some patron shenanigans going. You still have an elemental lord to banish. Though we've got four of those about to blow up, so... I think it would be wise to kill at least one of them. So let's get rid of this one, toss up some more armor, and prepare to take a little bit of extra damage here. Yep, three, that's going to be six and nine. Ah, good. I mean, He's keeping the, uh, keeping the flow coming here. But we've got three turns before another explosion, so I'm going to go ahead and set up the Grim Patron. Hopefully he is silly enough to let that live. And then we can... That's one downside to this encounter, is Nefarian does like to comment on your work. Okay, so he killed one Grim Patron, but he let another live. Completely fine with that. I'm gonna shield block again. Bring out a Corcron. And we'll pick off two more of these guys. So the ability to go off, we'll get one more Patron. Yep, 
He is really trying to keep our patron plays from working. Ideally here we want to clear as much as we can, so I'm going to go ahead and use this axe to get rid of the Dark Iron Dwarf. You're going to die on your own without me doing anything, so we will pick off these two, armor up, and the board is now under control. So that's good. And we're going to continue trying to generate patrons. That's kind of scary. Alright, that is now very scary. New Shaman class card. Kind of silly. I'm going to sacrifice that since it's going to die next turn anyway. And use that execute I've been holding on to. Let's drop you down for some healing. And why not? Let's get one more buff going. So we're going to get two more patrons this turn. We can use these two for trading if necessary. And of course we still have the axe. So really at this point it's just a matter of time now. Because I don't believe Gar actually has a way to clear a board. He can pick stuff off with a fire elemental all he wants, but that's ultimately whatever. Let's just go ahead and clear that. We're going to get three more patrons. Let's go ahead and get another charge minion. Oh, well, it looks like I actually just missed lethal damage. It doesn't really matter at this point, though. Two health, we've got this. There's no way he's going to be able to deal with six patrons, plus the Corcron. Well, that's kind of nasty. New Druid class card. It's not going to save him, but it's nasty. Let's just... plow through that. And that's the end of Gar. You should take a piece of Gar with you. Skip it across Ragnaros's lava pool. <laughs> You'd like that. Okay, so next up is Baron Geddon. I don't think we're going to get the dialogue from Nefarian because I was actually still testing this deck right before the recording. For this we are going to use Priest. You probably notice this is named MC slash BRS Priest. You're going to be seeing a lot of this deck here for a bit, as it's proved quite consistent against several bosses. And let's begin. Anduin versus Baron Geron! The light shall bring victory. Ragnaros will consume you. Job's done. Okay, so Baron Geddon. Before we start, I'm going to say this is probably the most annoying boss of this wing because of this ability here. Deal 5 damage to the enemy hero if they have any unspent mana. So the entire purpose of this deck is to try to play as much on curve as possible. You pretty much need a 1 drop. You can get by without a 2 drop just because you, your hero ability is always an option. This hand here is actually pretty good as we have a 3 and a 4 as well. But the main thing that makes this deck, or makes this boss difficult, is the card Living Bomb. You'll place it on one of your minions, and at the end of your turn, if that minion is still alive, it will explode and do 5 damage to all of your minions and your hero. 
So you kind of want to avoid that. So Priest is good for that because you can kind of shadow word pain your own minions and such. And Priest is also good because of Cleric here. You can try to accelerate your draw a bit and make sure you're always able to play on curve. Obviously though, it is Priest, so... Right away. Taking a little bit of damage from the ability and the Living Bomb can be acceptable, just because you can't always heal yourself. Oh, a Lava Burst. Oh. Alright, he really does not like that Cleric. Fair enough. Let's go ahead and get a bear out. Hmm. Alright, seems like he has a very bad hand. Go ahead and do three damage to him. Not liking the looks of turn five. Yeah, there's... There's the living bomb. There's really nothing I can do to kill that. Some advice if you're not using all basics is... Brewmasters are amazing because they keep the creature alive and they negate the effect. So, that's awesome. Any form of silence also works really well. I think I'm just gonna have to take the, the damage this turn. Let's get our 7 damage out there. That kinda sucks. It's gonna knock us down to 20. But what can you do? Not gonna throw out any other creatures. They'll just die as well. Hero power does nothing. Alright, looks like he does not have a play. So he is just going to hit us for the extra 5 damage. That's good, we can get an ogre out. There's the shadow word pain. So that might prove useful. Hopefully. Hopefully we don't get the living bomb on our ogres. Dealing with killing something that big is kind of... Kinda of difficult. Not the easiest creature to kill off of your own. So I'm thinking we just bear and raptor. Throw ourselves a heal. At this point we're really just trying to rush him down before we are just not able to tempo. That is actually really good. Because I can just run the bear into this, I don't have to spend a card. So we will do exactly that. I'm going to buff up my ogre. Going to Mind Blast. Holy smite. And heal my face. Alright, that's good. Pretty much setting up the... Oh, well that was silly. I don't have to do anything. Goodbye Baron Geddon. That worked out better than expected. And that is it for Baron Geddon. Okay, now it is time for Ragnaros. We will be using the same priest deck as before, so let's get to it. Anduin versus Major Domo Executors! Ragnaros is most trusted minion. Let's see if we can force him to summon the Fire Lord for us. Yes. None may challenge the living flame. The light shall bring victory. Okay, so first thing you're probably thinking, that's not Ragnaros at all. And you would be correct, that is Major Domo Executus. Hunt them down. 
Now there is one very specific strategy you need to pay attention to in this fight. And that is, you never want Major Domo to go below 21 health unless you can kill him that turn. I'll see if I can get a clip of why. So, I'll see if I can put that after this fight. Assuming I can win. Ideally, you want to get him as close to 21 as possible. The Fire Lord. Oh, that... that's not good. And of course it got 4 attack. So basically the strategy here is to get him to 21 and then try to build up the board. And then take the remaining 21 health in one turn. He is making... Difficult. No spell? No spell. Alright, he hasn't been using his hero ability. He just summons a 3-1. There's not really anything too special about it. Let's see, can I keep this alive somehow? I can. We just heal you, smash that, smite that. We must cleanse the sun well. And give you a little buff. No, oh, there's a 4-4. Four, four. There's the hero ability. Yeah, just a 1-3. Nothing too special. 4-4, four, four, that is actually the new hunter class card. Hmm, how do I want to approach this? Healing it doesn't give it enough, so I think I will just... Actually, let's, let's do this properly. So we drop this, restore some health, throw out a power word shield. That lets us smash that core rager. And keep our stuff alive. Hmm. Knocked himself down to 22. Hmm. Just because of how much mana he has, I think I can get away with this. So I actually am going to just holy Nova to wipe his board. Continue to must the sun well. set up some buffs that currently gives us 10, 16 damage that we will not be inflicting this turn. Right now the ideal draw would likely be a Mind Blast. Or we can hold up. Okay, he's doing damage to himself at it. Let's see, how can we map this out? Alright, so you go here, get rid of that. And now we just beat him down and there is the kill. These things are pretty inconsequential. Ragnaros, he who was ancient when this world was young. Mortal insects, you dare trespass into my domain? That should actually be the end of the fight. Unless he can somehow kill my ogre. Okay, well then. Screw you, Ragnaros. That is 13 15. We are one off. Push forward. Kill that. Replay the ogre. Okay, now we have it. GG Ragnaros.
it! The mountain is mine! MINE! Okay, so that is all of Molten Core. See you guys in the class challenges. Okay, time for the class challenges. First up is the Warrior Challenge. Versus Gar. I bet this is going to look kind of familiar. Yeah, that looks about right. This is actually pretty similar to the deck I used to clear it on my initial playthrough. Pretty much any kind of enrage or damage inflicting minion works wonders. Go ahead and hit that one to stagger it a bit. Don't need to kill it just yet. Hmm. I'm going to hang on to that and just armor up. Job done. Mind those little rock things, won't you? No, oh, he's got the rock biter. Where the where's that headed? Alright, well, rip Warbot. This guy can get insane if he li if he lives. So of course we're going to put him out and try. And just, oh good lord, look at all of these buffs he is getting. And he's dead. <laughs> At least he's going to get to do 10 damage. Okay, this is getting a little silly. I am going to have to stagger it a little bit. So, I'm going to execute one. I'm going to play this on one because I'm pretty sure he'll blow it up before he attacks. And Warbot just because. See that you don't explode. You still have an elemental lord to banish. Okay, so that's working pretty much as intended. Kill off one more. Now we let the Axe Flinger go to work. New Warrior class cards. Most people don't really seem to like it much. I... I do. It's at least fun in situations like this. That's the fun thing about the PvE content. Is you get things you normally wouldn't expect to work amazingly. Let's just smash that. We got a second axe flinger. You know, I enjoy watching you work. Did someone say Bob? Oh lord, that was that's a terrible thing to play. Why on earth would you do that? Got lucky only two of those hit the flingers. Oh well. Splat. Nice, on to the shaman challenge. 
which is versus Baron Geddon. I remember this deck, it is actually pretty clever using the Shaman Overload mechanic to manipulate your mana total. So that is actually pretty neat against this boss. Had I had more than just basic cards for the actual attempt, I probably would have considered using Shaman for that battle rather than Priest. Alright, let's see if we can get a one drop. But I'd rather not take damage immediately. None of these are one drops. And neither is that. No, oh, yeah, he gets a one drop. Of course, he gets a one drop. I'm just going to play a totem. Hopefully, he will ignore. Never mind. Well, this is not going particularly well. Very rough start. Valakir showed up. That'll be useful in five turns. After these imps have ripped my face off. Okay, so... Pretty much the only option. Get out something big and scary. Smash an imp. Try to regain some semblance of board control. That's a lava shock. Or four mana. I can totem. And play this little guy. Who's pretty much a guaranteed trade from him. I do feel like I need to just smash that and get it out of the way. Since it just creates a 1-1, one -one, I can trade the totem for that. That's unpleasant. Oh. Or he's going to trade everything... for... Okay. You can have my Fire Guard Destroyer, that's fine. What can I do for three? Don't particularly want to waste my Lightning Storm. But we have survived most of the aggro, and we have a Wind Fury thing alive. We do need the Hex. So that right there has to happen. I think I just have to take the damage this turn. The Wind Fury play is too strong. And, well, that happened. Alright. I've got Neptalon, so that's good. Go get him, Neptalon. Hey, we got old Murkai. That's got some potential. I just need him to not killed me. That would be grand. So not kill me. Stop it. Stop it now. Okay, Lightning Bolt. That's a good card to see. So what are our options? Okay, not play Alakir. So we've got seven. We need five damage. Yeah, we have five damage. So, Lightning Bolt... Lava Shock. Alright, so that's a clever class challenge. Pretty fun. Though I probably didn't use the overload mechanic that much. It's still a neat little 
idea. Anyway, that wraps up Molten Core. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time in Blackrock Spire.